Trash and waste management on Earth protects public health and the environment. Methods include recycling centers, sanitary landfills, and wastewater treatment plants. But now, with upcoming Artemis missions to the Moon and ultimately missions to Mars, waste concerns are not just limited to our planet. Being able to effectively manage trash is an important consideration when planning a long-duration space exploration mission. Trash takes up useful spacecraft volume and it develops a foul odor when placed in long-term storage. And here, at the end cone, we gather trash. Understanding that this is a near-future need for astronauts, a multidisciplinary team made up of early career researchers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida have been working on a solution to this problem. Building upon previous studies, the team developed a prototype reactor we call OSCAR. Orbital Syngas Commodity Augmentation Reactor, or OSCAR, is an early career initiative project funded by NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate in 2018. Working on OSCAR has demonstrated new ways to manage trash and waste in space by offering new options for safe disposal and the potential to transform it into useful resources. Methods for handling trash on the International Space Station today involve putting waste in bags and placing them on spacecraft headed to Earth. A crew of four astronauts is expected to generate approximately 5,500 pounds of waste during a one-year mission in space. A crewed Mars mission could take two or three years, and the technology being developed on OSCAR can help make that mission possible. OSCAR has a reactor that uses heat, oxygen, and steam to turn things like food packaging, old clothing, and even human waste into water and a gas mixture. Industry calls this mixture synthetic gas, or syngas, and it is primarily carbon dioxide with small amounts of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. Molecules from syngas can be used as building blocks for beneficial products like propellants for the spacecraft. The crew can also vent these gases for easy trash disposal. In December 2019, OSCAR reached a major milestone when it launched on a Blue Origin New Shepard rocket. This suborbital flight added around three minutes of valuable microgravity performance data to OSCAR's previous data from lab and drop tests. During the flight, OSCAR was able to inject trash into the high temperature reaction chamber and collect targeted product gases. While OSCAR was in microgravity, it successfully achieved turning trash into gas. This included initiation of combustion and smoldering of the waste, though OSCAR can perform a variety of thermal degradation processes, such as steam reforming, oxygen-enriched combustion, incineration, and pyrolysis. Sustaining the thermal reaction and gas collection all performed well in microgravity. The team is quantifying the gases OSCAR collected, as well as analyzing the remaining trash and char in the reactor to investigate how it may have burned differently than in gravity. The team is using the data gathered over the life of the project to evaluate the performance of the reactor to inform future designs. Through the Early Career Initiative, NASA encourages innovation through collaboration with organizations outside of the agency, as well as giving employees an opportunity to participate directly in technology development with the potential to enhance or enable future missions. The OSCAR project not only worked on developing technologies to enable humans to explore deeper into space than ever before, but it developed the next generation of scientists and engineers. We are proud of what OSCAR has accomplished over the last two years, including going to space, and we hope this technology will eventually get us to Mars.